Mosquitoes, a Moose Family Reunion by Margie Palatini and Henry Cole. Hmm. Family pictures. <laughs> Illustrated by Henry Cole, so he's the artist. And Margie Palatini is the writer. Oh, he's got marshmallows on his dick. All right. Moose was feeling a mite melancholy, a bit blue, sort of sad. He was missing his big moosey family. Why, he hadn't seen them in years. Looking at old family photos was, be, was almost bringing him to tears. Moose missed being together, making memories, enjoying good times. He even missed grumpy Uncle Harry and Cousin Curly's bad jokes. Aunt Lurleen's bad cooking. Moose sighed. Gosh, how he longed to see all his folks. My poor down-in-the-dumps dear, said his darling missus. There's no need to pine along. There's no need to pine long or be lonesome. Let's plan a party, a year reunion, and celebration, my love. What do you say to an old-fashioned family vacation? <laughs> he goes, wrong number. <laughs> A family reunion vacation? How simple, how easy, how perfectly perfect moose, call, moose calls went out. North to south, east to west, and all places in between. From the relatives up in Massachusetts to the kin and down in Mississippi to mooses in Texas, Montana, and even south in Alabama. The whole hairy herd would meet up at their mountain moose lodge. <laughs> A big family reunion vacation. Moose's mustache curled in anticipation. Kumbaya, kumbaya. <laughs> he planned three-legged races for the first, very first day. Silly songs for the next. He scheduled swimming and sunning, tanning and fanning. Boating and floating, hiking, biking, mornings to fish, time to chat and to dish, and everyone sleeping under the stars. Togetherness, sighed the merry moose, positively, perfectly perfect. With calendars marked with an X and watches synchronized to the second, mooses from coast to coast loaded up in cars packed vans, and stuffed trucks. Toot, toot, honk, honk, lots of goodbye waves, and off they went. Caravans chugged up the hills, slid down dales, snaked through tunnels, crossed bridges, rivers, this way, that way, left, right, left, left, right, to the tippy top of the mountain and Moose Lodge. <clears throat> Aunties, uncles, sisters, brothers, each and every cousin piled out to meet and greet. There was lots of moose hugging, cuddling, and kissing, handshaking, back slapping, hand clapping, tears, and giggles, too. It was just as moose had hoped and planned. One big, perfectly perfect family reunion, said Moose, ready with his camera and a click. All together again. Now everyone say, ah, choo. No, no, no. That was a sneeze. <laughs> Moose looked at his darling wife. Her eyes were suddenly blurry and teary. Her nose runny and red. I think I'm allergic, she sniffed. I'm going to bed. Before Moose could reek focus, Bucky Jr. and the rest of the boys... Grabbed a volleyball and raced off. Sissy and the girl scooted to the beach. Cousins Larry Moe and Curly climbed into a canoe and paddled away on the lake. Aunt Great Aunt Matilda trailed off to bird watch. For heaven's sakes. Oh. Aww. <laughs> 
The kin from Montana vamoosed and went for a hike. Great, great granny toddled off on her bike. <laughs> then the cousins from Texas got ornery and started to squabble. The four sisters from Mrs. Mississippi got into a tiff. Uncle Harry started grumbling and stomped off with a sniff. Stop! Wait! cried Moose, watching them scatter. What about togetherness? Not now. Maybe later. Catch you next time. Mind your own beeswax. Go fly a kite. The family was not playing ball. At least not together, Moose tried. He really tried to find something they all wanted to do. It was not simple. It was not easy. And it did not work. But Moose was still hopeful. He had an idea. That next evening, as daylight faded, the stars came out and everyone trailed back for dinner. Moose was ready and waiting. He had the campfire crackling, stew bubbling, potatoes roasting, marshmallows toasting. Mm. <laughs> Moose got out his banjo and plunked and plinked a favorite sing-along tune. He strummed, he hummed, he sang and crooned. Nobody joined in. <laughs> <laughs> They're sleeping. The kitties were whiny and cranky. The teens tired and bored. Aunt Larleen yawned. Mo and Larry sat back and snored. Quiet, said Uncle Harry, shuffling off to bed. But what about family togetherness, Moose sighed, sadly eating a s'more all by his lonesome. As the last campfire flames flickered, the only sound Moose heard was a ribbit solo. And then from somewhere in the dark, in the quiet, came a bzzz, then a n and a knee and a an nye. Ouch, ooh, ee, ee, ooh, ouch, ouch, slap, smack, slap, smack, scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> the mosquitoes. <sighs> Land sakes, it's mosquitoes, cried the moose aunties, wailing with alarm. Blasted buggy biters, shouted Uncle Tex in the middle of a swarm. Slap, slap, smack, smack, scratch, itch, scratch. Help, mosquitoes, yelled the boys as they tumbled off their cots. Help, mosquitoes, cried the girls, covered with bumpy pink polka dots. Oh, dear. <laughs> Do something, my darling, said Mrs. Moose as she scratched between her achoos. But Moose pondered, wondered, worried. What could he really do? Then suddenly he froze. One of the biggest mosquitoes had landed right on his nose. Moose gulped and went eye to eye with the big buzzer. They glared, they stared. Who would blink first? Hmm. And then Moose grinned and smiled. He didn't swat, smack, or swish, but knew exactly what to do. Moose reached into his knapsack and for his tried and true moustache glue. Moose ordered one and all to take a heaping hoop full of the white pasty glop. Then Tex-Mex lassoed some whiskers from the bottom while the beehived aunties took hold from the top. Herded around in a circle, everyone took a share of moose hair. Why, even the Uncle Harry took part. And with Moose's orchestration, a little humming and some dandy moosey doosey does. Together they all wove this way, then that way, up, down, front, and back. There was no need to worry, no reason to fret. Thanks to Moose and his moustache, the family now had the world's biggest mosquito net. <laughs> the glued brood was safe, sound, and snuggled all around with Moose Mac Dab in the middle. Oh, yes, it was cramped, it was crowded, and Uncle Harry's snores were most definitely loud. <laughs> but they were together at last, as close as any family could be, Moose sighed. It was a perfectly perfect reunion, even if they did itch. Mm-hmm.
<laughs> the end.